is Nina from VR Focus and I'm joined by... Gijs and Butter, co-founder of SenseGlow. So uh, when it comes to virtual reality, haptic feedback is something that people are always looking for. They really want to feel immersed. And what is the best way of doing that? It's actually feeling something, right? And then you're going Definitely. through the stages of the matrix right now. <laughs> uh, so you guys have developed uh, something that looks kind of like an exoskeleton, uh, but it enables you to feel things, right? Yeah, so we enable actually touch and virtual reality. And we do that by, well, force feedback, so you actually feel restriction when you're trying to touch a virtual object, but also by haptic feedback, so there's our little vibration, tactical feedback, uh, in order to get like the sensation of touch into the virtual world. What are the different types of sensations or uh, experiences that we've tried here today? Yeah, so at first you try to, well, crush a virtual act. If you were really, really pushing hard, then, well, the act pops and you also feel it breaking. Afterwards, you tried, uh, well, a demo in a space station where also these different interactions with, for example, a welder, uh, pull a button and see, okay, that is actually so a trigger feels, that I put. it feels like you're pushing a button. Well, uh, pushing not with your hands, but if you would touch it like this, then of course it feels like a button, but also the trigger, that also feels like you're actually doing, well, pulling a trigger. So what is the feedback that you've got so far from people who tried it out? Well, it's kind of, the CES has been overwhelming. We've got a lot of press coverage as well. People who tried it, we had almost always the act demo. And, well, people were really amazed by, okay, this is really the moment that you crush, the stress releases, and that is something that, well, speaks to the people's minds. That's incredible. So, it, basically, people were impressed. Uh, uh, yeah, to be honest, yes. <laughs> so, right now, is your product on the market, or are you guys developing it? This is something that you, there's a prototype. Uh... Yeah, so, so the, the gloves that you tried today are prototypes. Uh, these are well final prototypes, so all the capabilities of the glove will be also in our first SDK or in our first DK1. Just signed a deal with our manufacturer. If everything goes via plan, then it will ship our first development kits in July, and we just started our pre-orders via the website. So in July, yeah, basically if you pre-order it, right, you'll be able to get a glove. Uh, we have limited availabilities of 500 gloves. We already sell 50 within one month. So you need to be quick, but There's yeah. a limited amount. <laughs> There's basically. a limited amount, yeah. Uh, so what are the next steps after doing this? Yeah, so the next steps are really getting back the feedback from the developers who are using our uh, first development kit and making the glove smaller. We really chose for the exoskeleton design now because it's one size fits all, but if we are capable of making different sizes, so a larger amounts of gloves, then we also want to drift away from the form factor of an exoskeleton. It will always remain a little bit of hard parts because you want to have the force really nicely applied for 90 degrees above your fingers. Those are the developments that we're looking into. Where are you guys based? We're based in Delft in the Netherlands. And how did you guys decide to make a glove look? Yeah, so actually it started with a graduation project of mine and of my co-founder Johannes. And we were building a glove for rehabilitation. Then I tried VR, I was really, okay, this is going to change the way we interact with computers. But then I had these controllers and I felt really sad that I was pushing a button to actually pick them up, up an object. And we had that rehabilitation glove. Basically, it's kind of the similar glove that we have today, but we turn around the motor controls uh, instead of uh, that you can enhance motion, you can actually feel now. So that's why we started. So it's, it's, it's a coincidence that happened at the right moment at the right time? Sort of, yeah. Uh, and so, so you guys are going to be uh, probably growing a little bit bigger now? Yeah, hopefully. so we started, we are now with a team with uh, four full-time employees and uh, we just, well, we're in closing our finance route to also produce these 500 devices, so that will definitely uh, let our company grow. Great, fantastic. So, uh, is there a website that we can go to? Yeah, sense, senseglove.com. Really simple. Senseglove.com, right. So, if you want to feel things in virtual reality, like crushing an egg, yeah. or uh, clicking a button, yeah. you can do that with this glove. Yeah. Uh, head over to vrfocus.com if you want to find out more about virtual reality, and I'll see you there. Oh, thanks.